Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Carly and the Reaper Man overview. So we're getting yet another co-op game from Resolution Games, but uh, doing a review or just like playthrough of those games is kinda iffy, because last time when I wanted to record a game with fast subscriber or whatever, just you know, chill casual gameplay with just some commentary, like per usual, after all the editing and just like finish the video, I was basically getting assaulted, because I'm gonna use that person for my benefit, or just I'm taking advantage of something, like some people I feel like are way crazier that I am, which is a feat by itself. I don't know how this review will go because of its co-op nature, but let's just start with the game itself. So Carly seems like a platformer puzzle game that happens from two perspectives. Carly, who tries to escape the underworld and save herself from the troubles, and the Reaper Man that helps her on the way to pass through the obstacles and essentially commands how the game is gonna go on. Publishers of it, the Resolution Games, are pretty much the specialist of co-op games in general for Quest nowadays. If it's for Akron, Cookout, Demio, that's coming up, they command the multiplayer party games pretty much. With Carly it seems like they're taking more an, an adventure storyline perspective, but it's pretty unique by itself because Resolution normally puts out something to play like a short while, nothing like groundbreaking, nothing that you can progress in, basically to just play a while with friends and stuff and just have fun for a couple minutes or something. But Carly is like a full on adventure game with co-op aspect, so I'm kinda interested how that's gonna go because we don't really have a lot of progression based co-op games on quest for now as well as it seems more complicated than we think of because one person is essentially playing the reaper man on quest right because of the virtual reality second person can play on pc with a controller just like you know on the flat screen but then i've heard both players can play in vr or you can play with someone online from just like a browser and then how the safe system works in this game like there's a lot of aspects that co-op makes complicated and i'm interested how they solve that actually it seems simple concept on the surface but that's essentially the reason why we don't have a lot of co-op games in general because you really need to pay attention to little differences that single player and co-op makes. I'm a veteran of adventure games so I'm interested in seeing what it is about. I have no idea if I'm gonna do a full playthrough because I tend to play alone anyways. We play alone? Hmm. Check this bullshit out. Hmm, very dark menu. <laughs> options per usual. Oh, nothing. <laughs> actually nothing in options, okay. How to play. Oh, so you can actually steer Ripperman and Carly both in VR? Okay, because I was prepared and I have a keyboard, so I was gonna play with myself. That was pretty much the gag. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it still. Play, multiplayer then, the room code I need to enter. Yeah, so that's what I was curious about. I'm assuming the host of the game picks up the safe file you've played and from that moment you continue the game so it's all about the host that deciding okay new game i don't know how it's gonna work like that i will try single player still so that's just interesting how i'm gonna play with myself with a keyboard <laughs> why is it so quiet though The last thing I remember was the loud sound of metal bending and breaking. Then all was black. I woke up to the rhythmic sound of a train. Move around by pressing while moving your hand. Blood can be picked up by using the grab button. Okay, so on the PC, <laughs> I see from my hole, I'm like steering here. <laughs> oh my god, that's so awkward. Hello. I mean, so I can play it like that with a keyboard then. Forever alone, but... It's a good solution when you don't have to play with anyone. <laughs> I suppose so. Wait, so let me switch to the single player then. For some reason the sound effects are like non-existent. Nothing's happening. Okay, so we're storing Carly. Very much exactly like we've, we would play Moss. Left controller we would string her and then I'm assuming you can just like pick up things in the environment. So I don't know why I thought that it's gonna be like, you know, more complicated than it looked like, but... Pretty much, it's fine. So, we can pick up by using this.
then inhabitants of this place are not in a good shape, they are stuck. And that big pile of bones could help out by visiting one of them. I think I saw one over there by Cafe Atme. Ah, there. Carly, move. <laughs> Where is the sand? I'm so confused because there's no option, there's nothing to like, you know, control actually. So, is the game actually that like, quiet or something? Okay, so this is a uh, room sky game. What do you mean you so near her? Oh, you hear me here. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna be sitting down for this game, but pretty much not. Huh. It's like very most like that we just travel through the levels and just like pick up stuff. To like help her out. Which I like, so that's fine. Then, there's like a perfect chance to, for me to do a full playthrough of it, so. I'm <laughs> completely fine with playing it alone. <laughs> yeah, here we go, here we go. And this. Yeah, I have to play it stand. My mind is blurry, I can't remember who I am. A part of my memories lies in front of you. Please take a leap of faith and help me recollect what happened. Okay, this video is gonna be chaotic. Hello. So it seems like we just have platforms to just like, Jesus, <laughs> travel through. And help her out on the way. Pretty much by just creating the... But what what happens here? Wait, because this is locked, I can't pick it up. Oh, I have to just oh step on it. Okay, got it. I hope I'm not going crazy. And in the video, there is an actual sound playing, but like in game, there's like nothing. Ow! Grab the key. Okay. I guess that was the key. I never... Damn, I don't even see it. It's so far in the distance. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm assuming I just build it. Hey! Rude! I think I have to do it, like, fast. <laughs> While I am already here. Oh my god, Carly! <laughs> I'm pretty sure something went wrong with the... patch, or, like, version of the game. I'm pretty sure... We it's not gonna <laughs> supposed to be like that because I can kinda hear something faintly. So that means the audio is there, it's just that I'm pretty sure for the release day something actually happened because it is so ominous here. Okay, Carly, focus. No no no, Carly. Carly <laughs> Here we go. Like I'm not sure. I'm going crazy actually. What the hell? Uh, yeah, okay, run. <laughs> I wonder if I can move, like, my perspective here. Because this is, like, very far. <laughs> oh, here we go. I can move myself. Uh, Carly? Move, move, move. Okay. I just learned that you can just, like, move your environment. So I don't need to stand up. <laughs> getting complicated because I have so many controls to press. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> there's so much. I guess that's what I get by playing alone. There's a lot to press. Checkpoint, okay. Okay, got it. What is this even? <laughs> Eat this. 
Here we go. <laughs> That's pretty much solving, you know, puzzles in the VR environment with Carly, either alone or with someone. Doesn't really matter to me. I think I could do a playthrough on it because now I discovered that I can actually play alone. Sad, but that's the reality. Honestly, I thought there's gonna be more like storyline or like cutscenes or like something going on because the trailer assumed that there's just gonna be something more advanced rather than just you go straight into the game and just like, you know, pass the levels. I didn't see much of the narration. I didn't see much of what's going on, what even happened why we even end up here so it's just a trend with adventure games on quest that the storyline success or at least the proper introduction to it so i'm not surprised honestly i don't know what happened with the sound kid you not in the headset i can barely hear anything what's going on in the options there's like nothing to control nothing to change so but i like that you can control actually like the reaper man like that and just like steer with her very much most like ghost giant even like games like that work in vr because you're kind of like a guardian or just like some entity controlling over the world so the concept is there but the execution is kind of outdated, I feel like. Something's like old. I'm pretty sure this version got like screwed over, but I'm not a magician and if there's like no sound in the video actually, so that's why. <laughs>